What's up, Madden community? MT Squared back with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video, and we just found out the new legends coming out tomorrow, January 7th at 10.30 in the morning. We've got Marshall Yonda, Mike Haynes, John Randall, and I'm going to go over all of those cards, what their stats are, and the team chemistries that they get along with the discounted abilities that we just found out as well. If you do enjoy this video or find it helpful, hit that like button and make sure you sub to my channel so you can see my daily videos. So first card we have here is John Randall. He's got 88 speed, 94 acceleration, 90 strength, 93 tackling, 91 play rec, 97 block shed, 94 power move, and 96 finesse move. He is a run stopper archetype. He gets Vikings and Seahawks team chemistries. I'm going to go over the discounted abilities for him and all the other uh, legends that are coming out tomorrow. At the end on the last slide, I have them uh, all together. But uh, John Randall's cards are always pretty insane. He has a 91 overall team of the week card right now in the game. Um, I'm surprised that they didn't give him more speed. He's only got 88 speed, but uh, it is what it is there. And then next up, we've got the Marshall Yonda 96 overall card. He's got 95 strength, 93 awareness, 97 um, pass block, 94 pass block power, 96 pass block finesse, 96 run block, and 96 run block power with 94 run block finesse. He is a pass protector archetype. Now, um, will he be making my squad? Not quite sure. Um, I have Will Shields as a 95 overall card that I really like, and I'm not sure if it's really worth it to upgrade just for one overall. Uh, we'll take a look at his discounted abilities in a moment, but I was kind of hoping if an offensive lineman came out this weekend, we would either get a left guard or a right tackle. So for Legends Steam Teams, I am still using a Alan Fanica 93 overall at left guard and a right tackle. I'm actually using Anthony Munoz, who is a 95 overall left tackle, he gets right tackle as a secondary position. So I have him over at right tackle with Joe Thomas over at left tackle. There is Jackie Slater, who is a 94 overall right tackle, but he has edge protector for two ability points, which in my opinion is a deal breaker for your tackles. They need to get that for one ability point at this stage in the game. So Marshall Yonda, not quite sure if he's going to make my squad. I got to decide uh, if I want to do that. And uh, same thing with John Randall. For uh, defensive tackles, I've got Warren Sapp and Sam Adams as my other defensive tackle, the team captain. So John Randall probably will be making my squad. We'll take a look at his discounted abilities uh, in a moment. And then we've got Mike Haynes, six foot two cornerback. He gets Patriots and Raiders team chemistries. He's got 95 speed, 94 acceleration, 94 agility, 96 jumping, 92 play rec, 96 man, 96 zone, and 96 press. So the other two legends that we just talked about, those are the set piece legends. Those are not really big enough names, in my opinion, for them to be super expensive. We just went through a pretty big market crash when Campus Heroes 2 cards came out yesterday morning. Training is under three cent, uh, three coins per training. Um, I would anticipate that's probably going to go up slightly over the weekend because of the fact that the LTDs for Campus Heroes will not be in packs anymore. So there will be less of an incentive for people to do those Campus Hero 2 rerolls. Um, but we also don't have the training variety pack in stores right now. I don't think EA would just throw that in on a, on a Saturday. That usually seems to be something they would uh, do on a Thursday for a new promo based off of uh, what EA has done throughout the year. Could they add it tomorrow? Absolutely. But if they don't, this Mike Haynes card is probably going to be going for around 1.5 million coins. Yes, you heard me right. 1.5 million coins. If you were playing Madden a few months ago when the Charles Tillman 92 overall card came out, did you know exactly what I'm talking about? That Charles Tillman card was six foot two. He got deep out zone KO for one ability point, and he was going for about two to 2.2 million coins because of the fact that we did not have the training variety pack. Usually it's only like a week or two in between when they uh, update the amount of training points it costs for the training variety pack to coincide with the overalls that we are at in the game at the moment. Um, but right now, training is under three coins for training. I I think that we'll see it slightly increase. Um, again, because of the Campus Hero 2 situation, not having the LTDs in those Campus Hero 2 rerolls. But this Mike Haynes can only be gotten that we know of right now in packs. And that means people will probably be opening up those Legends packs, which means the John Randall and Marshall Yonda that people are probably a little less excited about, I would think, uh, means that those set pieces are going to be flying out of packs a lot more frequently uh, than we might expect. Um, and then... 
for, and Mike Haynes definitely going to be making my squad also. Um, so my cornerbacks right now are Harold Carmichael. I've also got the Antonio Cromartie and Richard Sherman cards. I'm not quite sure who I'm going to, you know, replace uh, Mike Haynes with. It might actually be Harold Carmichael. I might keep him on my squad anyway for his own situations, but Harold Carmichael in man situations, I've got medium route KO ability on him, and it just does not activate uh, enough because of the fact that there's usually too much separation because on those slants and corners and posts and stuff like that, or drag routes even, he just gets beat too hard in my opinion. So um, I'm probably going to put uh, Mike Haynes in with Antonio Cromartie and Richard Sherman as my three primary cornerbacks, and I'll have some decent height. I mean, I'm, there's no six foot eight Carmichael, but uh, we got uh, two six foot two guys and a six foot three guy uh, for what I think will be my cornerback trio. And then looking at the discount abilities, uh, so John Randall, I do apologize, the uh, fuzzy, there's a little bit of fuzziness uh, in here. These are all uh, snapshots from the from the stream that M that the MCS tournament's going on right now. Uh, that's the only way we can get these uh, snapshots at this point right now. So uh, John Randall um, for his, uh, he's got. Uh, under pressure for 1 AP, goal line stuff for 0 AP, which is pretty cool, inside stuff for 1 AP, double or nothing for 1 AP, uh, and then in his custom ability bucket, you can also add uh, double or nothing for 1 AP. So I was kind of hoping he was going to get inside stuff for 0 AP or the defensive rally ability for 0 AP. Um, I've got Richard Seymour as a backup. Sometimes I throw him in on third or fourth down to get the extra pass rush points because all four of my defensive linemen use the double or nothing ability for 1 AP, and that obviously uses up your pass rush points. Um, but uh, I, I probably still will add uh, John Randall, um, probably put goal line stuff on him, and then maybe just throw him in on the uh, on, on the edge because I mean on the uh, on the goal line when I'm within five or when my opponent is within five yards of the goal line because right now I've got Lawrence Taylor and Demarcus Ware as my edge rushers, and I know Lawrence Taylor is only a 93 overall. We're now up to 96s, but that card is still, in my opinion, uh, one of the best edge rushers in the game. So I have them on the outside and Javon Curse and Bruce Smith on the interior and they just get so many quick sheds um and getting sacks on the quarterback so it's gonna be tough for me to decide to switch one of those two um and uh john randall again it'll probably get added to my squad i'm gonna have to power him up though in order to uh, get that zero ap goal line stuff now remember this john randall and marshall yonda these discounted abilities you do need to have their power up which is going to be an 86 overall and then they're going to have an 88 overall that you're going to have to add in, a 90 overall, the 92, the 94, and the 96 overall card. Um, the 86 overall power-up you can get from doing his challenges, and then you can also get two 88s, one for Randall and one for Yonda, uh, for doing challenges, the extra challenge we're going to complete half a game, which in my opinion is definitely worth it. Uh, those 88s will probably go, be going for around 20 to 25 20 to 25,000 coins. Um, so I would expect um, that it would be worth it uh, to do that challenge to get those two free 88s. And if you're not going to do the sets, I mean, just do it anyway and you can resell them. That's a quick 40,000 coins uh, that you can get from just doing a challenge. And then Mike Haynes is going to get medium route KO for one ability point, pick artist for zero ability points, acrobat for two, inside shade for two, and medium route KO ability for one AP. Now, It'll be interesting to see which of these you can pair together um, based on the order that they have them. It looks like you can probably at least get Pick Artist and Inside Shade uh, together for two ability points total. Uh, that's probably going to be the best combination in my opinion and probably what I'm going to do. I'll probably play around with different things, uh, maybe Pick Artist and Medium Route KO or Pick Artist and Inside Shade. I run Inside Shade right now with Antonio Cromartie and Ronnie Lott, so I'm also going to have to find a way to fit in those ability points. But that is uh, it for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it or found it helpful. And if you did, hit that like button and make sure you're subbed to my channel so you can see my daily videos. And thank you for watching this video.